Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do Tech and Cody stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Go to Patreon, and uh, I do the premium leak code solutions there, and then reach out to me on Discord if you want to. I try and respond to everyone. 266, palindrome permutation. Got some likes. We did palindrome. We did the permutation one. We're doing a combo now. Given a string, determine if a permutation of the string could form a palindrome. So given... What, what is a palindrome? What is a permutation, first of all? So, um, a palindrome is, for example, the most famous one, I think, is race car. A palindrome is a word that is spelled the same way forward as backwards, or a string. So, R-A-C-E-R-C-A-R, R-A-C-E-C-A-R, R-A-C-E-C-A-R, same way forward as backwards. What the um, distinct properties of a palindrome are, each character has a match, so R and R, A and A, C and C, and then except for the middle one, doesn't have to be a match. This is still a palindrome, so the middle one, you know, it's fine if you don't have a middle one that doesn't have a match, but a middle one doesn't need to have a match. So that's a palindrome. What is a permutation? A permutation is a rearrangement of letters in a string. So C-O-D-E or O-D-C-E is a permutation um, or, you know, D-C-E-O. Like anything that's a rearrangement of these letters is a permutation. So we want to find out if a permutation of this string is a palind can be a palindrome. Because obviously code is not because C-O-D-E and E-D-O-C are different spellings for it as backwards. Um, in all we have to do is pay attention to the properties of a palindrome to figure this out. We don't even really need to... If you gener The worst way to do this is generating all the permutations and then looking for palindromes. That would be so slow. All we really need to do is just have a little array that keeps track of the count of each character. So we're like, okay, we saw one C, we saw one O, we saw one D, and one E. And if there's no mat if there's more than one character without a match that's not a palindrome and it's not possible to be a palindrome right because only one character cannot have a match and that's the middle one so if you find you know there's only one occurrence of you know two characters that's wrong because there has to be a match for every character except for one that can be the middle one so if we see c is there's only one c then there better be two o's two d's and two e's for a palindrome you know so that's it. Um, a, A, B is true, right? We see, you know, A has a match, B doesn't, but that's fine because the B would just go right here. There you go, palindrome. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. Like I said, we're just going to keep an array for each character's index. Um, we'll call it char counts. This is a very popular thing. Um, I think you can do it. There's uppercase and lowercase because it doesn't say it's all lowercase so we're going to use all ASCII values. So we're going to do 128. Um, size 128. We're just going to loop through the string. I less than S dot length. I plus plus. This, when you initialize an array in Java, this means it's all zeros. So this is going to contain the count of each character in the string. So what we do is we just do this. Char counts of S dot char at I. This Putting this a character as the index value of an array turns it into ASCII. So it finds the index of the ASCII value for the current character we're looping through in the string, looks it up in the array, increments the count. So if we see an A, it'll increment the index by one. And then if we see another A, it'll increment it again. So it'll be two A's. And we know, then we know the count, the number of times each character occurs. So now all we have to do is we have a you know, variable called count. We'll do for int i equals zero again, i less than 128. We just got to loop through the counter right now and the count of each character. And we'll just do count plus equals char counts of i. So the, you know, this will be the current character. We're looping through each character and in, in each index values the count of it. Mod two, because we're looking for matches. So if there's two characters, then that's a match. If there's two of the same characters, that's a match. If there's four, that's a match. If there's six, so any even number is gonna be a match that we can use in our palindrome. If it's odd, then we're gonna, this mod two is gonna turn it into the value one, which will add on to the count. So um, in this case, we just do this. And if there's more than one character without a match, then count will get incremented more than once and we can just return. If count is less than or equal to one, 
that means that there's either zero characters without a match or there's one character without a match, which is fine. Um, and if it's not, then we return false. So we return true. If everything's good, we return false. If it's not very easy problem, I think this is the fastest way to do it. Right. This isn't really space. It's only 128. Um, that's like constant. We're not, we're worried about scalable space, so it's no big deal. And then, um, you know, you're looping through a linear scans, so it's not nested for loops or anything, just linear. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Um, you know, love everyone that watches the videos. I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm about to go out to eat. I just saw this and I was like, this is easy. Let's finish this really quick. I didn't do it. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.